I seem to have found the first swarm again. The wind has pushed them in between the mountains. They are more widely dispersed now than what they initially was which will make any attempts to control them very difficult especially as they seem to be covering all of the mountains as well Milo, we are going to get come swarm that we saw earlier, the wind has blown them in between the mountains here and it's keeping them fairly stationary as they seem to be attempting to fly into the wind rather than with the wind and as I, do, as I don't know that much about locusts, I haven't they haven't swarmed around here in the 25 years that I've been here and I've talked to somebody who's been here for more than 50 years closer to 60 years and he hasn't seen anything like this so I went online and, and did some uh, research and I got some interesting information that I will share with you I'm gonna have to read it off because this is I'm no I'm no locust expert but some of the interesting things about the brown locust uh, lo locustana pardalina is that the South African government started controlling them in 1906 so I found some data and I will show it on the screen uh, that shows data of the control from 1906 to 2005 I seem to be seeing them along the slopes of the mountain there now they started off using very harsh chemicals that were very damaging to the environment in general not only, only the locusts and then as you can see on the sheet there every 10 to 20 years or so they managed to get uh, better chemicals that were less harsh and more focused on just controlling the locusts So some more information, uh, in 1985 to 1986, in that year, they controlled uh, 250,000 swarms of hoppers. That's at the early, the younger stage when they can't yet fly. And then 40,000 swarms of flying adults were controlled. Those are huge numbers if you look at a swarm this size. You can see them glint like that in the sun. But they seem to be dispersing as they settle for the evening now. They're, with all of this food I think they are spread out more. More, interest, more interesting stuff about the females. The females can lay 150 to 180 eggs per female per week and they can do that for 8 to 12 weeks that gives you about 2,000 eggs per female uh, so never mind exponential growth that's that will give you a population explosion like what has happened here and females that are single that are singular not in uh, swarms will lay eggs that require a rest period 20 to 40 days I think it was before they will be ready to hatch and then they will require 15 to 25 millimeters of rain before they will hatch but when they are swarming like this a female will lay eggs that require no such rest period and as long as the soil is still moist the eggs will hatch immediately And that means that the swarm can be self-sustaining and it can as long if you have a wet period like we are having now from 2021 when the rain started 
actually end of 2020 when the rain started until now we've had constant rains so it's absolutely uh, the ideal conditions for them to uh, build their population see them like that in the sun So when when the swarms are self-sustaining like that, it will go it will go on and on, and unless with very very intense uh, control measures, you can reduce their numbers. They will continue like that until drought will start to slowly reduce their numbers. But then the eggs are the the, the, the species is very drought resistant. The eggs can survive two to three years. Before, before needing to hatch. I seem to see the densest concentrations on the side of the mountain here. And you cannot spray them there. But not only on this mountain. Also over there. I've been hunting the locust now for two hours. I found part of one small swarm that I showed on that side of this mountain. From what I've seen is the wind is too strong for them, so it's pushing the swarm downwind. But they're trying to fly upwind and what then happens is where the wind goes over a rise or something and it drops down over there, some turbulence, then they drop and settle there. But the places where they are settling are against the slopes of the mountain. There is no way to reach them there. So I'll still be look, trying to look and see if we can find some of them. But in, the, uh, in that paper, the government states that in this kind of area, they tended to leave the swarms to develop until they were flying. And the, then they controlled the flying swarms with uh, airplanes or helicopters. I don't know if that, still, that control measure still exists in our current situation in the country, we don't know, but I'll try to find out. So anyway, if I don't find them, I'll see you then on the next one. Cheers.